All right, back plates on, nice and good. Don't have to worry about it now. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and work on installing the bridge. So, bridge is very simple. The only complicated part really is the, um, is the uh, making sure it's grounded right. So grounding, you're just making sure that the wire is against this metal, um, which shouldn't be a big deal. So as long as it's like up against something while you have it screwed in, you should be all right. So I'm gonna be loosening some of these up so I can um, reach the screw holes. So all I'm doing is just loosening these uh, other screw areas at so I can get my screws in. Actually, I could probably loosen them a little bit and then tighten them, or flip them, I mean. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just have to take them down to the near last thread. So, I'm going to just install it how I normally do. If it seems to be an issue with, um, with grounding, I'll take this off and then take it into my garage. I'll grind off the paint and then solder the actual wire to the bridge which will hopefully resolve the issue, but I don't think it's absolutely necessary. So. I'm just getting these loosened up as far as I can get them so I can access the holes within the bridge for the screws. So I'm gonna basically lay this grounding wire above the other holes where the strings come in and then just press it onto the actual bridge and then um, screw it in and hopefully it'll work. <laughs> so, um, but rinse and repeat with all the screws, the wax, all of that stuff. So I'm just going to put a little wax on the screws and I'm going to prep it like I have been with the other ones. Once this is on, there's pretty much just small little bits and pieces, and then we're going to be um, installing the neck, and the guitar will be basically close to being done. So, send these screws in. Hopefully, they don't become a big problem like the other ones have. So, move my chair again. I need a little more leverage with these bigger screws. So. Again, I'm going to do a lot more in and out, in and out, um, because these are also bigger screws and these holes are looking to be a lot smaller than I would like them to be. So I don't want to split or crack the top of the guitar either. So I'm just going to get them all the way down until I get them nearly flush with the body, back and back out. And then once all the holes are opened up, we're going to install the bridge. So I'll do that again off camera because I've been filming quite a bit. And I don't think it really is a big deal if you guys want to see me do what I've been doing for the past, I don't know, hour and a half of putting screws in and out, in and out, in and out. So I'll be back. All right, so I'm getting everything uh, put together on the bridge now. Um, so I'm 
all the screw holes were uh, fitted to where they needed to be. Um, so now I'm just going to be trying to get them in where they should be at and then starting to screw it all down. So let's see. I want to make sure all these holes are going to be lined up where they should be at. So the screws don't go in where they're not supposed to. So the only other thing is I've taken the grounding wire and I've bent everything up so that way it's at least for sure going to be touching the, um, the bridge when it is finally cinched down on top. So I've got that screw in started. This screw is started as well too. Alright, that's good. Switching over to a bigger screwdriver for a little more leverage. Um, and it should make the line a little bit quicker for me. As long as I don't scratch the heck out of it while I'm screwing these down. can get them where they're at. Make sure all this up. That one's down to the floor. This one's pretty much down. And this last one is down. So now that grounding cable is squished up against the bridge underneath of it. This thing is as tight as I think I can get it to, this, to the body of the guitar. Um, so, that's where we're at now. So we're going to do some other small stuff. And then the only thing really left now is just to assemble it to uh, the neck. So, a little trick or trade for my three-way switch. This little post. So obviously I have the little black plastic piece. But this post probably won't hold this piece on and it'll keep falling off. So what I do is I take these little nips that are meant for cutting off your guitar strings and I'm just going to go over top of this a little bit and kind of squeeze them in and just add a little bit of knurling myself to the edge of this. So you don't need much. It's just enough to... Uh, Give it some texture. This way you're not gluing this piece on there as well. So we'll just slot that down on top. Works well. We're going to take our caps here. Are these push fits? These are push fits, which is okay. Um, and I'm just going to find out and where it sits, push it all the way down the body and then pull up just gently so if it does not spin straight it won't rub against the body. Um, I do prefer the ones that you uh, put a little set screw into but these will work just fine. So push all the way down I just pull up just a touch and then spin it and make sure that's not rubbing super hard. Which, that one sounds a little funny, but I think that's just to get the potentiometer. So now, the guitar is ready to be 
finished up with installing the neck. So um, I'm going to set this here, move this over, insert that rear piece. This is for there. So now it's time to install the neck piece. My pieces. So the neck is going to be. We're going to install this sideways. Hopefully, I don't think I usually have pretty good luck with it. I don't have to shim the necks. So we're just going to sit this in the pocket, and I'm going to slide this up and down, back and forth, side to side, and find my holes, which that looks right there. Should be them everything everywhere so these are nice so they have these little inserts that slip into the backs so that way they are flush with the body at least and I'm just gonna send that down into the hole and I'm gonna do opposite as well and that's why I also brought out the big screwdriver is for this next part making sure these screws go in nicely so I'm going to set these in a little bit. Maybe they'll go all the way through. Maybe they threaded these. I hope so. But probably not. So we're just going to keep sending this one down until it's about even with the other one. Or close to. And rinse and repeat with the, uh, with the wax as well for my other two. wax will come off easily as long as it's not getting super hot and melting all over the place. So these are going in definitely a little easier. I should have done the other ones, but it's fine. So that's seated. We'll do the opposite. Kind of like changing a tire. Seat that one all the way. We're going to seat this one next all the way. There we go. Not bad. Let's seat this one. And then I'm going to make sure they're all about the same tightness. It's time to flip it over. Seems pretty, pretty strong being a bolt-on. We're looking very, very close to being a full done guitar. There's just one last final thing that I'm going to do. The only custom piece I'm adding, which is a DiMarzio strap with clips, which I had spare laying around. So that's why I'm doing these because I had this strap and I didn't want to wait for another one to show up. So very simple assembly. Um, this actually came off of my seven string and I replaced it with an orange set. So, uh, let's see. So these are very um, pretty self-explanatory. These little pins just go in to the holes so of these eyelets go through the whole of these and then um, you just put the opposite and run the screw through. So I don't want to use these big honking screws. I'm going to do these smaller ones just because so I don't need black screws going all the way through this. Um, there are small what looks to be clear rings but I don't think the clear rings are going to be doing much for us. Hmm. Yeah, I'll be able to at least protect the, the guitar. So, I'm going to put the crappier ring on the bottom facing the guitar. I'm going to put the other plastic ring 
through the screw hole. So a little clear washer is going to go through the screw hole, through the metal piece, and then through another cap just like that. And then this is going to get screwed into the guitar at the top shoulder. And more wax. And then I will obviously this screwdriver is big enough. Yeah. So we're going to send this in with this big screwdriver. I like these DiMarzio ones. I usually get leather, leather, um, leather guitar straps, and then have um, um, locking straps. But these are nice too. Plus, I had this one just laying around, so I'm putting this on this guitar. It'll look cool. Now it's wanting to bite me. It's okay. We're just gonna send it in till it's snug and tight against the top of the shoulder here. And that looks good to me. Just a little bit more. Still can swing, that screw's not going anywhere. Now we're going to come down to this end, so I need my other piece. This is just this little piece with an eyelet stitched. Take, uh, I'm going to take the lesser of the good washers, which I guess it doesn't matter, they're both decent. Put the screw through the plastic washer. All the way through, screw through the metal eyelet, and then I usually try and find, because there's usually some markings on one side of the buckle, I want that facing towards me, and then eyelet and screw through that, then the other washer through the screw on top of the eyelet. And this will get sent into the bottom of this guitar. case again. Um, I can move this back just a touch. Maybe you can see me installing it, maybe not. I haven't really been paying attention the last few shots that I've been doing with this stuff. So. All we need are strings, which should be here tomorrow. I can check though if they are here today, because they might have been delivered today. I just want to make sure this is going to go in straight. The pre drilled hole. It did come with other straps, the strap locks, not locking ones, but just regular old straps. I'm not a real big fan of them because I've had too many instruments slip off me. That's why I've been buying strap locks recently because. I just prefer them. All right, we're gonna go in like that. There we go. And then just a little bit of pressure, and I'm gonna send it all the way in. Of our wax. Now. 
snug. Still freely spins. Strap, double end I usually put on the bottom. This end on the top. And it's done. So I'm gonna try and reset and maybe get a picture or two. Maybe set it up to where you guys can actually see this better than just my terrible camera angles that I've been doing. So you can see the completed guitar. Right. So this is the guitar. I have it set up. I apologize again if my hands are a bit shaky and a terrible angle, but this is the guitar finished. No strings yet. Um, I believe they might be out in my mailbox, which I will go check. Um, but this is everything done and assembled without strings. The headstock all done with the tuners. Um, this is the finish of our staining and sanding that we have done. It's not really uh, rubbing off a whole lot, but everything is now finished. So now all I need are strings to tie it all together and give it a strum. If you guys have enjoyed me uh, building this and uh, getting everything set up, if you guys would like to see me do more of the setup and playing, um, let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this is also a sectional video I'm going to probably add in somewhere. So these are the other instruments that I have somewhat or mostly completed. Um, so this is that T-body I talked about with the EMG pickups that I've done. I still have some things i got to do with it. Obviously the uh, bridge is on, but I'm actually going to be drilling holes straight through so I can have the strings come through the body because I was having some tension issues with the bridge when I was playing it before. But uh, yeah, this has that same black um, stain that I've used, except I did a lot more layering and I actually like sanded each layer down when I did do it. Um, but it's pretty much just a standard little Telecaster with some locking tuners and stuff. Very plain Jane with the NG pickups. So it's a three-way toggle switch. Um, I did the tortoiseshell green pick guard and green and gold accents on most of it. But yeah, this is the Telecaster. And then this is also the jazz bass that I did in the red. So this is that uh, cherry tone that I did. Um, not good lighting at the moment, but the wood grain does come through with that red cherry kind of look. I went with more of a black and red. Um, with accents on the buttons and stuff. Um, I also did the headstock in red. Uh, with black tuners and everything else. I even have a hip shot drop D tuner on the bass as well because uh, I like being able to just quickly change. So yeah, these are some of the things that I've done with other builds that I've made.